Hello, programming languages students. Um, welcome back for the uh, video two in our C series here. This is going to be a very quick video, um, and this is really a rev this may actually be a review of um, Organ Arc a little bit, or some things you learn in Organ Arc. Um, so hopefully, if you've had Organ Arc, this should be review. If you haven't, then I just want to do a really quick overview about what this is, um, what how basically how memory works at its core in computers. So when you run a program and you create a variable, let's say we create an integer a that stores the value 13, there is memory um, in either the stack or the heap, depending on what you're doing and how you're working with. But there's basically the important part is there's memory. And in this memory, or I guess when you create this variable, enough memory has to be created or allocated for your program to store the value. And so you can think of this as a block of memory. And we basically have a, a variable or a reference in this case a, that points to the piece of memory that stores the value here. So a has an address. That is the address of this piece of memory that stores the number 13. Um, and so this reference, this a, is actually an address that references this piece of memory. And so when you access it, there's things in the background that kind of work to let you point around and mess with memory. And in Java, all this is hidden from you. Um, in C, you can leave it hidden, or you can take control. That's the cool, that's the valuable, the interesting part about C is it gives you control, even at a memory level, about what you do. Um, and so we're going to talk about pointers. Um, but basically, the idea is we have this piece of memory, we have this variable A that references it. Um, and in C, in the programming language, language C, you can create pointers, which are references to values, and those values point to memory locations of other things. So these are pointers. They are value. This this is memory that stores the address of another piece of memory. In other words, it points to another area. So we'll talk about how we can use pointers and what they do and why they're interesting and, and kind of a couple little conventions or a couple symbols here that allow us to control um, whether we're accessing the contents of the address pointed to by our pointer or the value of a variable or the address of a variable and kind of this this combination of things that allows us to work with pointers. Um, but the key is when you create integers or arrays or objects, memory is allocated. That memory has addresses. And in Java, it just uses them. In C, we can point to them, access them, grab them from data, point to them from other pieces of data. And in other words, access memory more directly. So we're going to show some in the next video some live demo of this.